ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਐਂਡ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਜਸ ਲਾਈਵ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦੀ 550ਵਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਉਤਸਵ ਦੀ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਐਂਡ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਕਾਨਫਰੈਂਸ ਜੋ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਕਐਂਡ ਐਟ ਹਾਸਟਰ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਗੈਸਟ ਵੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹਨ ਤਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਿੰਦਰਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਥੇ ਵਿਚਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ نو ਬਿੰਦਰਾ ਜੀ ਯੂ نو ਦ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਦੀ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਕ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਹਾਫਸਟਰ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਦੋ ਚੇਅਰਸ ਸੈਟ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर दैट ਬਿੰਦਰਾ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ Uh, I think from the entire community we can say that uh, you guys have done a phenomenal job apne culture and apni sikhi nu promote karan le also joining us is mr uh, B- uh, balbinder singh bogal and bogal ji is a professor at hafsha university specifically teaching the religious uh, uh, sikh studies chair at the university um sab to pehle toda dona da welcome um of course uh, teji ji before we get into this conference the gurunanak's ek anek vision <coughs> beyond relativist and plural diversities of the musical world uh, one of the uh, first of its kind actually second i think mm-hmm. attempt but a unique conference jide vich na ke sirf apni bani te sikh culture and religion di gal hoegi but sikh music and bhajan di bhi gal hon ja rahi hai right us to pehle teji ji tusi thoda ja sanu dasso ਕਿ ਹਾਫਸਟਰਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਯੂਨੀਕ ਹੈਗੀ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ देयर ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਸੀਕ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਈਡ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ 550 ਸਾਲਾਨਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਹੋਜ ਲੱਖ ਲੱਖ ਵਧਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਾਫਸਟਰਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿਕਸ ਚੇਅਰ establish of is 2000 the which mm-hmm. is our parents the dream see ki how do we try to bring six into the mainstream mm-hmm. or sade bade inspirations si dr narendra singh kapani mm-hmm. he always said ki when you are in america to see institutions nal kaam karo to to see institution nal ek endowments create karo jo ki ek bari studies a program shuruaat ho jayegi it will continue forever te bade khushi hai ki father saab de ਇਨਸਾਈਟ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਰਮ ਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਸੀਗੀ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਚੇਅਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਹਾਫਸਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 2000 ਔਨ ਸਿਕਸ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਹਾਫਸਟਰ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਚੇਅਰ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਚੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਕੈਥੋਲਿਕ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਜੂ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੋਰ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਚੇਅਰਸ ਆਈਆਂ ਔਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੋ ਚੇਅਰ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਿਕਸ ਚੇਅਰ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਥਾਪਿਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਚੇਅਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਸਿਕ ਮਿਊਜ਼ਿਕੋਲੋਜੀ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ਡ ਬਾਈ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਹਾਕਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਨ ਮੈਂਬਰਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਹਿਸ ਵਾਈਫ ਸਦਾਰਨੀ ਹਰਬੰਸ ਕੋਰ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਚੇਅਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਟੂ ਯੂ نو ਹਾਫਸਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਦੋ ਸਿਕ ਚੇਅਰਸ ਨੇ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸਿਕ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਸਿਕ ਮਿਊਜ਼ਿਕੋਲੋਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਫਸਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਦਾ ਹੋਮ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਇੰਟਰਫੇਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਸਿੰਸ 90 ਸਿੰਸ 2008 ਤੇ ਬੜੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਅ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਲ ਲਵ ਐਂਡ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਹੂਡ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਹਾਸਟਰ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਪਾਰਟਨਰ ਵਿਦ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਐਨ ਬੈਟਰ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਆਫ ਸਿਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਸਿਕਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਮੇਨ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਿਕਸ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਦੇ ਚੇਅਰ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪੋਕਲ ਆਪਣ
that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, uh, Dr. Pogal, to see thoda jasanu dasso about the program, to see his program, de which uh, hands on involved hege. Um, you are, are a professor, obviously, at the university currently. Um, to see thoda jasso that what the program uh, offers to students, both apne Sikh, Punjabi, Indian, as well as non Indians. Well, I think in terms of the conference, mm -hmm. uh, this is a great uh, opportunity to not only celebrate Guru Nanak's 550th birth anniversary, it is to return to his vision. Mm -hmm. And what is his vision? Mm -hmm. His vision is Ek and Ek in terms of the title of the conference. What do we mean by that is that his voice wasn't the singular voice that was the absolute truth. Mm -hmm. He started to resonate his voice with others. Mm -hmm. And it's the inclusion of the other's voice within the Sikh scripture that you have a very unique uh, phenomenon that mm -hmm. I don't think you find in other religious traditions, mm -hmm. that you can have God with multiple voices, if you like. Mm -hmm. And that this phenomenon should be really respected as a model of insight and profound uh, prophecy for multicultural societies today mm -hmm. and I think that Guru Nanak had a, a singular vision that still hasn't we still haven't really understood the treasure of his profound insights one of the best ways that you can understand uh, a universal message is through music people often say yes. music is a universal language mm -hmm. and this is interesting because no other scripture has in terms of the way uh, Gurbani came a musical dimension. Mm -hmm. It came with music, so it's a musical word. And that musical word allowed Guru Nanak and the Sikh Gurus to include the other's voice as their own, okay. as part of Gurbani. So you have Sheikh Farid, you have Sheikh Bikan, you have Ravi Das, mm -hmm. uh, Kabirji, inside the Sikh scripture. And this conference itself is double. It's, it's a conference and three concerts to actually hear the proper Sikh contribution, not only to philosophy, literature, religious studies, but also to music, mm -hmm. and how the Sikh chapter in music has been forgotten, overwritten, ignored, mm -hmm. in terms of its contribution to Indian classical music. And so Dr. Francesca Cassio and I, the mm -hmm. Chair of Sikh Musicology, and uh, myself, we thought we should do something about the musical word. I, mm -hmm. I look at the literature side, she looks at the music side. Mm -hmm. And together, we are doing something that is truly interdisciplinary. Mm -hmm. We're bringing music scholars, ethnomusicologists, mm -hmm. in discussion with humanities, social science scholars. And what we're trying to do is to rewrite the history and give the Sikh contribution, not only the great treasure of profound philosophy that's in the Guru, Guru Granth Sahib, mm -hmm. but also acknowledge that it had a great musicological mm -hmm. um, contribution to make. And that's uh, Dr. Cassio's uh, forte in terms of her expertise. So we're, we're very happy to celebrate Guru Nanak's inclusive mm -hmm. one many vision mm -hmm. via a look at the actual musical word mm -hmm. through the conference and these concerts, and we can talk about the concerts Absolutely. as we go on. Absolutely. Uh, Gigi, a uh, conference of this scale, right, um, I, I believe there's over 30 scholars from all around the world that are joining us this weekend at Hofstra University, I should remind everyone. Um, uh, like, what does it take to put something like this together? I think what it takes is that when we did the agreement with the university at that time, mm -hmm. and the university was extremely cooperative and helpful. Mm -hmm. They agreed not only to teach the six studies, mm -hmm. but they also said we'll every year they'll put money towards a conference, they'll put money towards uh, bringing more books on Sikh religion in the library, mm -hmm. they'll uh, give money to uh, students who want to pursue Sikh studies, mm -hmm. and money to the professor to go and attend other conferences. Wow. So I think very, very well-rounded way of doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's because of this reason that we have been able to have so many conferences. And mm -hmm. this is being a massive one with 31 scholars. True. There's three concerts. vision mm -hmm. Look at the beauty of it. I mean, the very first day, you know, Zikr Kita ki Guru Granth Sahib de which Sarya de Bani hai. And keeping that in mind, the first day concert, Jo Thursday, mm -hmm. it is Guru Sahib's Bani by Pai Baldeep Singh from India mm -hmm. from Anath Foundation. Jo Pellan Vitu Adethi Ayo Ine, Sade Sikh and Art Film Foundation Thi Vyayane. The second day, it is uh, 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 Samagam on 
Bani of Bhagat Kabir Ji by Padma Shri Pallad Tapaniya. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful. And the third day is the Bani of uh, uh, Baba Fried Ji in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. by Dhruv Sangari, Ji. who is one of the main disciples of Nusrat Fateli Khan. Ji. And this will be done Sufi style. Ji. So look at the beauty of this. Jo in a zikr ki ta, jo Guru Sahib, the vision hai, mm -hmm. ek anek, and the three concerts will be celebrating that. Ji. So I think that is the beauty of Guru Sahib's teachings. Ji. The baki in the vada scholars aren't ge, the vadiya galna hon kiya, I'm sure there'll be a lot to learn Ji. for Ji. all of us and especially me Ji. and everyone else as well. So I think it's a thank you for giving us this opportunity ke loga nu itla kar sakiye ki conference hai kiya. Then we're looking forward to it. Very nice. Make buddy fir sare anu yaad lada. This conference is taking place in New York Hofstra University, Long Island, which Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week. That's October 10th, 11th, and 12th. Friday and Saturday, it's a full day of programs, of seminars, lectures, interactive conversations, and Shamnu, these wonderful concerts that they, Gigi just mentioned. Um, and Thursday evening is also a kickoff concert. So if you're in the area, this is free to the public. Please do come attend this. Um, uh, Professor, Dr. Pogel, tell us, someone who attends these, uh, these this upcoming conference, what can they take away from something like this? Well, this is a very unique experience because it's very rare mm -hmm. that you have a multi-discipline mm -hmm. and a multi-subject matter mm -hmm. uh, conference. The concerts, I should add, are not just for the celebration, which is they're a great celebration of, but they're also part of the research project. Mm -hmm. We're Chubby. actually going to learn how to listen to um, what the unique Sikh voice is. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, uh, by comparison, because there were many uh, 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 song traditions mm -hmm. and song forms and raga forms across India, and it's uh, of particular note that the Guru Granth Sahib contains rags within it mm -hmm. that contemporary Indian musical scholars and scholars of ethnomusicology have totally ignored and mm -hmm. written off and assume that they don't exist anymore. They right. assume that they don't exist anymore because we're understudied. Mm -hmm. So this conference is putting Sikhs back onto the map of mm -hmm. Indian classical musical history within the ethnomusicological discipline of study mm -hmm. and that will, that's a chapter to be rewritten. Very nice. I think we'll take a quick pause right there and talk about what lies ahead for not just Sikh studies but for the work that you wonderful gentlemen are participating in. Uh, stay tuned. Up is Choti Ji Break Baad Welcome back from break. To see we create a special episode just live da and aaj apan gal kar rahe ha Guru Nanak Dev ji di 550th Prakash Utsav di celebration jo hon ja rahi hai international conference at Hofstra University de naal mere naal mere uh, guest maujood han but please uh, before we get into the wonderful conversation my audience nu a ad dikhana chahndi ha that gives you all of the information for this upcoming conference. Beyond relativist and plural diversities of the musical world, Guru Nanak's Ekanik Vision, international conference celebrating Guru Nanak's 550th birth anniversary, taking place from October 10th to the 12th. Performances by Pai Balip Singh, Pralad Tipanya, Dhruv Sangri from India, and also about 30 scholars and musicians joining from all over over the world. Join us at Hofstra University. Co-organizers Dr. Balbinder Singh Bogal and Dr. Francesca Cassio. For more information, please contact Manmeet Kaur Nijar and Viswajit Sri Ram Rajan. Welcome back. Hun to Nicole Sari information hangi. If you are present locally in this area this weekend, Zarur to see Hofstra University out. Tejiji. A jo chair established with chairs, sorry, Hofstra University, starting with your family's bold step in this regard. Um, we were talking a little bit about because these are endowed chairs, right? And audience numa das na changi, that means that Hofstra University has to preserve this department, these Sikh study chairs, no matter what, because they are endowed um, by folks like your family, right? Um, what is the significance of that for Sikh studies? I think it's very vital for that because, come to think of it, if we have to go in longevity mm -hmm. and carry forward 
the awareness of sex, in which I mentioned earlier also, in an institutional way, mm -hmm. this is the right way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Because when you work with the universities, because there are the students which, which will go through the process mm -hmm. to learn about Sikhism. I remember I attended a class many years back, two, two hour class mm -hmm. on the birth uh, formation of Khalsa, or two kante mein mere father saab the doctor kapani vi I say here, and we could not, we didn't uh, blink. It was mesmerizing, and it was not just superficial knowledge that we are talking about the birth of Khalsa, mm -hmm. but the knowledge that the students had. And I distinctly remember of 39 students, mm -hmm. uh, Sikh and Indians, all were mainstream Americans. Okay. So the, in a very nice way, you are letting an awareness mm -hmm. of the religion to the people, mm -hmm. and these same people will grow up, mm -hmm. and one talks to 100 people, as mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or perhaps a 1,000. And the word of mouth, in a very nice way, we are spreading an awareness mm -hmm. and also building bridges. Mm -hmm. It is uh, talking about the Sikh religion. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we also want to make sure that it is inclusive and we're able to communicate with other religions. So I think this is a fantastic thing. Mm -hmm. And especially in Hofstra, because now it's not just the Sikh studies, the Jewish studies, Catholic, Islam, so many other studies. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it may definitely makes the world mm -hmm. a better place when people learn and love and respect each other's traditions. And I should note, apni audience lay, jo e baki sare religious uh, studies e chairs Hofstra which established uh, where they came after uh, uh, Bindraji's family's uh, first uh, initiative. So I think they are all endowed to you and your family for taking that Thank step um, and, and paving the road. Uh, Professor, uh, Dr. Vogel, please tell us, uh, in a time where uh, you know, uh, young people's perspective on education is changing, right? And um, the overall view of liberal arts is changing. Um, having a chair, an endowed chair like this at a university like Hofstra, a major university on the East Coast in the United States, what is the significance of that for Sikh studies? It's hugely significant because it brings Sikhs to the table mm -hmm. and it gives them a voice that otherwise they wouldn't have at a very important platform. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful because one of the most important treasures that we have from the Gurus is to not just a knowledge of inclusivity, mm -hmm. but the idea of how to handle multiple perspectives. Mm -hmm. The gurus were doing that. Mm -hmm. Rather than just having a singular view, a singular language, a singular people, mm -hmm. it had a a mosaic of people as part of its tradition. Gee. And that means that you have to understand how to view the world through multiple lenses, Gee. multiple perspectives. And this is a genius that Guru Nanak had Gee. to ha have to do that. There's, I don't think there's any other comparable tradition that can do that. And that the students totally connect with. They really Gee. ignite with that understanding that there are multiple voices, multiple perspectives. We need to know how to handle that. Gee. And the Sikh tradition offers that. I think that's valuable in, uh, information in today's day and world. Um, talking a little bit more about this conference, um, tell us, you know, we know, you mentioned Apahune Dasya Sareanu, that there's over 30 scholars from around the world, um, some from extremely prestigious institutions. Can you tell us a little bit about where some of these professors are coming from? Yes, we have uh, professors from Harvard University. We have professors from Yale University, mm -hmm. from Columbia University, from Michigan University, but also from around the world, from uh, Benares Hindu University. Gee. We have top class scholars Gee. who shaped the field of music mm -hmm. and wrote the histories of Indian classical music. We've brought those very scholars who wrote Gee. the books Gee. that form the history to have a conversation with them. This is why, for your earlier point, G -G. what does it mean for Sikh studies to have this endowed chair? It provides us a voice to actually change long-term views about Indian classical musical history. And to think, Jo apni Sikh community hagi, we really leave an impact no matter where we go. But we are a minority; we are a small group of people. So for us to come to the table in this big way, um, you know, what kind of a legacy are we able to leave behind for the next generation by? putting together a conference like this by having these kind of chairs um, at universities, uh, you know, I, I think only mm. you, you, you guys would know best um, what that means for the next generation. One uh, com uh, obvious uh, example of that legacy is that with the endowment of the chair at Hofstra University, um, 
it was able to launch a new journal, Sikh Formations, Religion, Culture and Theory. And that journal has uh, become probably the premier journal in the field, mm -hmm. so that all s um, scholars within the field of Sikh studies publish in that journal. Mm -hmm. And so you have an in in incredible variety and that will be a long term, that's a long term project. Mm -hmm. And it's with Routledge, uh, Routledge Publishers. Mm -hmm. And um, you were mentioning Apagalkarisi uh, Shoto Pele that, you know, Iddandi Jo conferences, right? Um, the ones that are open to public and even the ones where it's a select group of invitees. Um, right? You are actually changing the field. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us a little bit about how a conference specifically like this, with the interdisciplinary marriage of history, religion, and also art and music, how do uh, you think that that's going to change the field going forward? Yes, I mean, uh, we have a very specific focus for this conference mm -hmm. because uh, Dr. Francesca Cassio, this is her research project mm -hmm. of trying to um, understand the Sikh contribution to uh, Indian music mm -hmm. and to make sure that we have a voice there. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, the conference is not only promoting a new perspective, a new vision, mm -hmm. It's doing it through research at the conference mm -hmm. with these scholars and the concerts mm -hmm. are part of that research project. Mm -hmm. But also what we have is that um, my side of it is the uh, uh, philosophical understanding of the implications of plurality mm -hmm. and multiple perspectives. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, many students are wanting to hear how it is that they can understand their neighbors who are from different backgrounds yes, and absolutely. we can provide that. And New York is probably the best yeah. place to do that, yeah. right? The melting <laughs> right. pot of the yeah. world. Um, Teji Ji, Dr. Pogol, thank you so much for being here. I wish there was more time to talk about this stuff, but the conference is in a couple of days. Um, uh, I should let our viewers know that our team will be there covering for those that can't make it, but please, if you this area, it is open to the public. Three days of enlightenment and Guru Nanak Dev Ji's teachings uh, married into a wonderful uh, collection of seminars of interfaith and music and history and culture. Um, with this, I will tell our audiences, if you need any more information, we're going to show you the flyer once more uh, at the close of this program, as well as the ad with all the information. But please do join us. It is with participation in programs like this that we can increase our footprint. And jo apni Sikh community hai unanu agge apa idda hi vada sakde So thank you for watching. Messi Yashmita, and you're watching Just Punjab. Beyond relativist and plural diversities of the musical world, Guru Nanak's Ekanik Vision, international conference celebrating Guru Nanak's 550th birth anniversary, taking place from October 10th to the 12th. Performances by Pai Balip Singh, Prahlad Tipanya, Dhruv Sangri from India, and also about 30 scholars and musicians joining from all over the world. Join us at Hofstra University. Co-organizers Dr. Balbinder Singh Bogal and Dr. Francesca Cassio. For more information, please contact Manmeet Gaur Nijjar and Viswajit Sri Ram Rajan.